everybody. Whoop, you can't see my face. I just wanted to go live real quick and show you how I styled my Carly dress today with a belt. I obviously don't have it in right now. But this is a Carly that I find to be a little big on me, even though it's true to size. It's a slinkier fabric, so it kind of like, oops, adheres more to the body. Um, and I did a super cute, um, belted outfit earlier that a lot of you saw, so I just wanted to show you exactly how we did it. So you can do this even if you choose to, like, size up in the Carly. I just decided to do it with this. Oops, my necklace. I just decided to do this, um because of the way that this particular one falls on me and I just thought the fabric would be easier to work with. So this is just one of those belts that you wear kind of like higher up on your waist and I'm an apple shape, which means all my weight is in the middle. <laughs> so anyways, hi, thanks for joining. I just took the belt and I did it under my bust. Okay, so see that this fabric is like super duper stretchy. So I didn't really like that look. So what I did is I actually twisted it around so it was just like a solid black in the front because I had my Lindsay kimono that I wore over it anyways. I just kind of like played with the positioning and I started to take the fabric and blouse it out and over my belt. And I did it to where it actually covered the belt, so you couldn't even see the belt. And the reason why I wanted the all black in the front was so that like, if you did happen to see the front of the belt, that like, it wouldn't really matter. I just kind of played with it. Played with it. To get it looking now I've been like tugging at this so you can totally tell but I just got it to like a comfortable position and see how it kind of like actually emphasizes the high low back and with this fabric I like to um, wear a layer anyways so it didn't have to be perfect all the way around um, if you're gonna wear it alone with just the belt, I would recommend a thinner belt. But this one was perfect for what I was trying to accomplish and I just kind of played with the bottom skirt part. So it almost creates two pieces for you. It's like really hard to do this on video, it's kind of funny. And then I just put my patterned beautiful floral Lindsay kimono that I just got over and I put on like a fancier necklace I mean guys I would totally wear this to like a wedding I mean I wore it tonight for my pop-up but I do adjust the belt a little bit because I like to bring my waist up because I am apple shape And look at that, it is so flipping cute. And it's high in, in the front and low in the back so you can still bend over without flashing the goods. And it's super cute. Now, it is a little bit, I just have my socks on now. I had like really tall black boots on four. So it is a little more above the knee. So if you like a longer in the front, you're gonna wanna size up. This is my true size. And it is a little shorter than I'm used to. So like I wouldn't wear this to church, <laughs> but I would wear it on a night on the town or to like a wedding. And it, I can choose my waistline wherever I put it, wherever the belt is. And it's super cute and it looks like two pieces. Right? So that is how to style your Carly with a belt. And yeah, if you have any questions 
or you want to show me how you style your carly with belt i would love to see that thanks everybody have a great night